Boy, the economy isn't looking too well these days, is it? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's really quite hard to make money on your investments today and with banks and, and everybody just uh, having low rates and all the problems. So what are bank CDs paying today? Well, it says right now currently uh, one-year CD is paying a half of 1% and a five-year CD, 1.6%. That's just terrible. And the stock market, the stock market, you just can't trust the stock market. It's really quite volatile, isn't it? It sure is. You know, I figured out the last 12 years, I haven't made any money at all. I mean, it goes up 20 or 30% for a while and then down 30 or 40%. It's like a giant roller coaster ride. I know exactly what you're saying. And you know what? That sure is lousy. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know what to do with my own money nowadays. Well, I'll tell you, I've made a killing in the market these last three years. I've been buying international bonds, international bonds that are being sold by some foreign countries. But get this, they're selling them to companies that are got very poor credit and they're willing to pay a much higher premium for these bonds. In fact, some of these bonds have spreads from 12 to 18 percent. I got to tell you, some of my buddies of mine and I, we've more than doubled our money in the last three years. Are you kidding me? That that sounds too good to be true. Well, I got to tell you something. Let me show you these statements that I have here. Take a look at these. This will prove you what those returns have been. Holy cow. Are, are these things safe? Of course they're safe. No one has ever lost any money with these bonds. They're backed not only by the countries that are, in, uh, that are issuing them, but they're backed by Floyd's of London as well. Now, I'm going to tell you, not too many people know about this investment, so I'm kind of keeping it kind of on the download, but it's been a gold mine for my associates and I. Well, how can I uh, invest some money in it too, possibly? Well, I don't know. It's, uh, they're not looking for new investors right now, but you look like a nice enough guy. Give me your name and number and I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, great, great. Uh, I sure do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I do have some money to invest. Well, I like to hear that. You know what? I'll be in touch with you, that's for sure. Okay, great. I, I appreciate it. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Ponzi. Ponzi Schemerwitz. Ponzi. Good to meet you. Oh, good, good to meet you, too. We've heard it said many times before, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Yet so many good people are fooled by these professional scam artists and Ponzi schemes. And no one is immune from these masters of deception, either. The rich and famous, as well as the uneducated to the higher educated, have been trapped by the web of guaranteed higher returns and no-risk investment promises by these shysters. They are, in many cases, gregarious, outgoing, magnetic speakers who mesmerize their audiences with their charm, knowledge, and seemingly inside connections to the underworld of high finance and non-public offerings, made available only to a lucky few. And the sad news is that many times you're introduced to these devious plots by a friend, family member, church leader, or pastor. You believe in them as a person, so you naturally believe in their fairy tale of a richer return on your money waiting just around the corner. Of course, in most cases, these good people have been duped themselves, not knowing they were leading you and themselves down a dark tunnel never to see the return of your money again. Call it greed or gullibility on the part of the investor who wants to earn a higher return on their investments. Those who perpetrate these crimes against their victims have no conscience or remorse and are always on the hunt for their next easy mark. So here are my five keys to protecting yourself and your money from the next great Ponzi scheme or scam. Key number one, don't trust anyone's word as gospel, even friends or family. Keep your guard up at all times. It may have taken you a lifetime to save up your nest egg, so don't be in a hurry to hand it over to someone else, all for the sake of making more money. Key number two, call the state insurance department if it's an insurance product, or the SEC, which is the Securities and Exchange Commission, if it's a securities product, and ask them if this product is registered as a legal and approved product in your state. And you can also check out your broker with FINRA, which is the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, by logging on to their website at www.brokercheck.com. Key number three, call your local Better Business Bureau and ask them if this company is registered and if they've ever had any complaints by unhappy investors. Key number four, call the state attorney general's office and ask them if they're aware of this product or investment and if they have had any active investigations going on regarding this company. 
And key number five, never ever hand over cash or write a check out in the name of the salesman or financial advisor who is promoting the investment or to their individual company's name. Only write a check to the institution, insurance company, or brokerage firm who is underwriting this product or investment. And as an additional strategy and safeguard, be sure your monthly statements don't come from the advisor's office or on their letterhead. They should always come from a third-party custodian, like TD Ameritrade, Pershing, or a brokerage firm like Merrill Lynch, Edward Jones, or others like them. And please remember, always remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now is the time to protect your life savings and financial future from these swindlers and shysters. They like to wear a mask of kindness and special financial connections, yet they really have a hollow heart and a forked tongue. Please be careful with whom you entrust your money to. You can take a lifetime to build it up, and in a moment, it can all be gone. Many have suffered this unbearable fate, so don't fall into the same trap. Guard your money with wisdom, counsel, and due diligence. The good news here is that there are many good, caring financial advisors out there who truly look out for the best interests of their clients. Fortunately, there are more good guys than bad guys in the financial services field. But you must do your research and due diligence before handing over your hard-earned cash. And to help you in selecting the best financial advisor in your area, download our free report, 10 Questions to Ask Your Financial Advisor Before You Invest a Dime with Them. And finally, tune into our weekly show, Checks and Balances TV, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the balanced truth you need to financially succeed. I'm Matthew J. Reddick, host of Checks and Balances TV. Thanks for watching this special edition of CBTV. And remember, you can become financially independent. You just need confidence and determination. Until next week, spend less, save more, believe in yourself, and make it happen.